Hey guys, so today I'm going to take and do a little bit of work on the Me Creator 2. Um, I started a print last night and that popped off the, the uh, painter's tape. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to pick up some of this uh, build tack, go to put a sheet of that on there. When I ordered it, I ordered the 165 millimeter sheet. The actual build plate itself is 180 millimeters squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to kind of center it on the build plate. Uh, next time I do it, I'll just go ahead and get 180 just so it covers the entire build plate. Not that it's going to actually reach out because the nozzle never reaches the edge of the build plate. It just prints within the 160 millimeter area. So I'm going to go ahead and get that changed out. While I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and just lightly coat the, the rods with a little bit of this lithium grease. Um, not because it needs it, but I just just to keep it from getting any wear and tear, I just like to have something to lubricate it a little bit. So I'll go ahead and I'll get started on it, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we have the build tech installed. Now I'm going to go ahead and lubricate the rails. Okay guys, so I have the build tack on the build plate. I have it somewhat centered uh, because I could do it by eye. I think it's going to be fine like that. I'm not planning on, on printing anything all the way out to the edge anyway. Um, I went ahead and lubricated all the rods. I have just put a light film of the white lithium grease on it and then I wiped off all the excess. Uh, there's no use in having it where it's just dripping off it or anything like that. Um, I did take in a uh, Marvin and Cura and I double size it, so it's going to be a 200 scale, double the, double the size. And what I did is I have it sliced three different ways. I have it where it's going to be a 0.2 layer height, a 0.1 layer height, and a 0 0.05 layer height. Because this machine will do 0 0.05. So I just want to see what the difference is in the resolution. I also dropped the temperature of the filament, uh, dropped it down from 198 that I did last time. I dropped it on down to 190 on this bottle. So we'll see how that works out with it. Every printer is a little bit different. This one seems like it runs a little bit hotter than my, my uh, uh, G-Tech Aluminum Prusa i3. So we'll see if that uh, works out pretty good. Anyway, I will set it up and I'll see you at the end of the time lapse. Okay guys, so the last Marvin just printed. I printed a little bit more than what I was planning on doing, but I'll show you here in a moment why I did it. 
So what I'm doing right now, I've figured out that by using the build tack, if I heat it back up, it makes it a lot easier to get the, the print back off the bed. So just heat the bed back up. And just take my time with the knife and it with a spatula and it finally starts to raise up. Just like that. Okay, so I'll bring the camera over here and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so this one right here is the 0 .05 Marvin. Let me go ahead and zoom in so we can see the detail on it. As you can tell, it turns out really smooth. It really turned out nice. The only problem I had was back here on the very back, I have this roughness. Just right back here on this one corner. The other side doesn't have that roughness, but over here, it's got this roughness to it. I don't know exactly what caused it, but I'm, I'm going to keep uh, tweaking the settings to see if that straightens it out. But for the most part, 0 .05 really turned out nice on the printer. Okay, so now the next one is 0 .1 layer height. And honestly, for the, the time, now this one here, the 0 .05 took over 5 hours to print. Which, it's really nice, but that's a long time for a print. This one took about 2.5 hours at 0 .1 layer height. And... Honestly, it turned out pretty nice. It uh, didn't have that roughness to it. It's smooth all the way around. You can see the layer, the lines. If I turn the light here just right, you'll be able to see a little bit of the lines right there. Now that, compare that to the 0 .5, or 0 .05. As you can see, it's, it looks smoother. But not tremendously smoother. It's this one here. I think is a really good, a really good compromise right here for print time compared to print quality. Even underneath the little ear things here, it turned out pretty good. So that brings us to the point two layer height. Now, the point two. Maybe I'm just. I should have started with point two and then worked my way up, but. It, uh, it, to me, it looks a lot rougher. Um, but for the most part, it's, it's still a very nice print. You can see the lines are a lot more detailed on this one. You can see a lot more of the, the ridges and lines and everything. But it still turned out really nice. Uh, I'm really happy with that. After that, I started tweaking with the point two, trying to see if I could smooth out the print a little bit more. And I adjusted the, the print uh, temperature and speed and stuff like that on this one. I, I, this one here is just purely an experimental one to the point where it actually failed. So <clears throat> this one didn't turn out the greatest. This one I experimented with adding a little bit more uh, extrusion, given it where it, it, it increased the, the amount of plastic that was extruded. I increased that a little bit just to see what it would look like. And for the most part, I think it turned out alright. At least up here I didn't have any problems with the hoop. <laughs> anyway, on the time lapse I'll put down what all the, the print temperatures and everything were on each one of the, the Marvins. But for the most part, I think they turned out pretty good. I definitely like, of all of them, I still like the point one. For the print time, I think it's the best. Once again, this is the point zero five. This is the point one. And then this one here is the point two. You really tell a difference in the in the layer height. I think I like this one the best. <laughs> well guys, there you have it. Got my Marvins right here, starting from the 0 .05 all the way up, 0 .05, 0 .1, 0.2, and then the two experimental ones. I think they turned out pretty nice. Uh, 
I haven't done a whole lot of tweaking yet on the, the printer settings. I mainly just adjusted the print speed. I lowered down the print speed just a hair, and then I lowered the print temperature a little bit. Except for when I got to this one, I adjusted this one down to 190, and that's when I started having problems with it. Doing that. <laughs> but uh, for the most part, they turned out pretty good. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. Have a great day and take care.